Hello everyone! So for today's video, I will be showing you the first week of life of the polar bears. This is their day one. It is very important for them to drink their mother's milk every two hours. Today is their second day and we still don't see any gold markings in their fur. By the way, we call them polar bears. In their first week of life, puppies eat constantly. They spend 10% of the time eating and 90% of the time sleeping. This is their third day and as you can see, their eyes and ears are still closed. Even on their third day, we still make sure that they are able to drink their mother's milk every 2-3 to three hours. It is better to place a heating lamp for them to be able to maintain their body temperature. Look at them, they really look like polar bears. We have to feed them 3 times daily and we should also put a water beside them for them to be able to drink whenever they feel thirsty because lactating mother dogs tends to get thirsty easily we have to check her milk glands twice daily for mastitis which is swollen and hard teats milk from the affected teats can be toxic to puppies this is their fourth day i noticed that the training pad is already dirty so it's now time to change it it is advisable to change the training pad or beddings every after two days to keep the puppies clean. By doing this, you keep the whelping box free from bacteria. Since we are cleaning the whelping box, let's just put the puppies first inside the incubator. We noticed that the newborn puppies sleep better inside the incubator. We think that this is because the temperature inside the incubator is maintained from time to time we put them inside the incubator especially when the mother dog goes out of the room for a long time or whenever she eats so let's clean the whelping box by first turning off the lamp and removing it let's also remove this whelping box I already prepared the three training pad earlier and connected it using the masking tape. We tried to use other kinds of tapes but only the masking tape sticks in the training pad. So if you also plan to use training pad, you should use masking tape. We also put masking tape on each corner of the training pad so that the training pad won't be flipped. Because before, when we didn't put any masking tapes on the corner of the training pad, it is always flipped and moved whenever the mother dogs move. Beside me, you can see Vanilla checking on how I clean her whelping box. Let us now put back the whelping box. And we're done! Since Vanilla is already looking for her puppies, let's now put back her puppies in the whelping box. This is the fifth day of the polar bears and as you can see, they are now starting to crawl on their own. I noticed that the newborn's puppy's nose and paws is now starting to color. 
Let's wait for a few more days until the puppy's nose and paws is fully showing its colors. By then, we can identify whether the puppy is a liver or liver line. The color of the nose and paws depends on the fur color of the puppies. This is actually our first time having a pure white Shih Tzu puppy. We had white Shih Tzu puppies before but they usually have gold markings. Pure white Shih Tzu puppy is rare and is quite pricey. Today is the sixth day of the polar bears. We noticed that the puppies does not like the heat from the heating lamp anymore so we changed the bulb into the normal bulb. As you can see, their paws now has a color. If you are looking for a white or other color of Shih Tzu puppies, you can visit Quality First Kennel's Facebook page. I will put the link in the description box below. Make sure to visit and follow the page for more updates. Today is the day 7 or the first week of the polar bears. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video.